Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with the chapter, The Hundred Dresses, part one. Chapter number five of the book, First Fly of class 10th. This chapter is basically about the discrimination done in America when the police immigrated to this country. This story talks about the real experience of a Polish girl who was actually discriminated by the American children in the town. So through this chapter, we'll get to know that how and in what different ways she was being discriminated and why was she being done this way. Before we start with the chapter, let's talk about the author of the chapter. The author of the chapter is Elbisar Esther. She was an American writer and she has been considered as a children's writer. Like all her writings have been inspiring the children, imbibing with the moral values and ethics in children. And many a time she has included real life incidents to teach the children the values of life. So here we go. If we talk about this chapter, the three main characters that has to be taken care are Vanda, Mandy, and her friend, Peggy. So these are the three main characters we are talking about. But before proceeding further, let's see the news clipping. This is a piece of writing might have been taken from uh, an encyclopedia. This talks about that how Polish immigrated and they arrived in America in 1608. The Polish state did not exist at that time. So these people immigrated to America and they have to face certain challenges to cope up with the people over there. And they were very much discriminated by the American community. And this experience mentioned in the chapters is one of those. Moving ahead with the chapter. It was a Monday morning. Vanda Petrusky was not in her seat, but nobody, not even Peggy and Mandy, the girls who started all the fun, noticed her absence. Usually, Vanda sat in the seat next to the last seat in the last row in room 30. She sat in the corner of the room where the rough boys who did not make good marks sat. The corner of the room were there was most scuffling of feet, most roars of laughter when anything funny was there and most mud and dirt on the floor. So in the first paragraph, we get to know that Panda is the girl who is not at all noticed by anyone in the class. Even she's, her absence is not being noticed by the two girls, Peggy and Madeline, who is also known as Mandy here. These two girls used to make fun of Vanda and they used to enjoy a lot, but they also did not notice the absence of Vanda. So on Monday, Vanda did not come to school, maybe for any reason. Now this girl was so isolated, so out of the reach, that she always used to sit in the corner of a classroom. She has chosen the corner where all the rough, notorious boys used to sit. The boys who were not good in studies. The boys who used to create a lot of disturbance in the class. There was loud laughter in this corner of the room. But this corner was chosen by Vanda to sit in the class. So what was the reason behind? It has been mentioned in the first paragraph that this corner was mud and dirt on the floor. What was the reason? We'll get to know further. Vanda did not sit there because she was rough and noisy. So basically here, author wants to say that although she has chosen that noisy corner, that rough corner of the class to sit, but she was not one of those rough boys. To the contrast of the situation, she was a very quiet girl. She hardly even used to talk to anyone. She never used to laugh aloud. Yes, 
it might out it generally happened that when someone used to make fun of her she used to give a crude sort of smile a smile which she is not interested at that smile was not actually real because she was giving a smile to the sarcastic statements being forwarded to her by the children of the class so she was a quiet girl but she has chosen that corner maybe because she don't want wanted to be, she don't want to be noticed she don't want rest of the children to reach her and make fun of her she was not having much confidence to face the class she was not very intelligent she was not very presentable because she belonged to a poor family an immigrant family nobody knew exactly why vanda sat in that seat unless it was because she came all the way from bogging heights and her feet were usually caked with dirty mud so finally we get to know that vanda used to come from a bogging heights place which was not very much well planned and it was such a muddy place that there used to be a thick deposit of mud in the sole of her shoes and that used to make that corner of the class muddy and dusty so she used to sit there but no one really thought much about vanda manda was someone who was always absent in the class physically she might be present but anybody hardly noticed her once she sat in the corner of the room the time when they thought about vanda was outside of school hours so school hours are when the study starts in the morning until the time it ends in the afternoon so during the school hours none of her classmates were ever looking after her or ever talking about her they only used to talk about vanda either either before the class started or after the classes gets over so she was an extra thing to be discussed and they never used to do something right with her they never used to spend good time with her but two or three or more students used to stand together and they used to make fun of vanda then sometime they waited for vanda to have fun with her so here having fun with her doesn't mean that they used to enjoy along with vanda but they used to humiliate vanda and they themselves used to have fun the next day tuesday vanda was not in school either and nobody noticed her absence again just like the yesterday but on wednesday peggy and matty who sat down front with other children so these two girls were very intelligent they used to sit in front of the class and they were very much attracted and noticeable by everyone okay so here peggy was the most popular girl in the school the first reason was she was very pretty she used to wear pretty clothes and her hair was curly maddy was her closest friend so these two girls were very much known to the class so why peggy and maddy noticed vanda's absence on wednesday because actually they got late due to her but how they were waiting before the class started for vanda to make fun of her but she did not turn up so because of this these two girls peggy and maddy got late to the class and then they realized that vanda was absent in the class for past two days moving ahead with the chapter vanda petrovsky most of the children in the room 13 didn't have name like that they had name easy to say like thomas smith and elin there was one boy named brown bounce veli bounce and people thought that was funny but not funny in the same way that petronsky was so actually the name in the classes were all american name or english name okay they were easy to understand and pronounce but vanda petronsky was a very different name because she was a polish girl fine so children used to make fun of her name also vanda didn't have any friend she came to school alone and went home alone she always wore a faded blue dress that didn't hang right so actually this was the second reason why she was being made fun of 
she was not having a proper dress to wear in the school. Every day she used to wear the same blue dress and that too, which was not of a bright color, but the blue color was almost faded. That shows that the dress was very old, very torn off. And the dress was not even fitting her body properly. It was hanging from here and there. It was clean, but it looked as though it had never been ironed properly. So although the dress was clean, but it seems to be very wrinkled because it seemed that it has never been ironed. She did not have any friend, but a lot of girls talked to her. Sometimes they surrounded her in the schoolyard as she stood watching the little girls play hopscotch on the worn hard crown. So although she was not very much fond of anyone, although the girls were not very friend of her, but they used to be around her to make fun of her. Whenever Vanda used to stand in the schoolyard to see the girls playing hopscotch, the other girls used to surround them. Vanda, Peggy would say in a most courteous manner, as though she were talking to Miss Masson. Okay, so that, that's a sarcastic statement. That's a sarcastic way to make someone feel sad. So Vanda here was feeling very sad by the way Peggy used to call her. She mentioned her at Miss Masson. Tell us, Vanda, she would say, giving me of her friends Anna. So here she is giving a gentle push. Now, nudge means, you know, when you want to drag the attention of someone by pushing the person's hand with your hand. So that shows that it was a sarcastic behavior of Peggy. Tell us, how many dresses did you say you had hanging up in your closet? So she used to ask Vanda that how many dresses she had because they knew that she was having only one dress, that one blue dress. A hundred, Vanda would say. Now, Vanda was a small girl. She wanted to be famous. She wanted to be noticed. So she just gave a false statement. A hundred, Vanda would say. A hundred, exclaimed all the little girls, uncourageously. So all the girls were not ready to believe that Vanda is having hundred dresses. And the little ones would stop playing hopscotch and listen. So everybody in the school, was surprised to listen that Vanda said she was having hundred dresses because the way she used to dress up, that doesn't seem that she might be having any other dress. Yeah, a hundred all lined up, said Vanda. Then her thin lips drew together in silence. So she used to tell this with a forced statement that yes, I do have. What are they like? All silk, I bet, said Peggy. Again, Peggy started making fun of her that your dresses might be of silk. Silk is a fabric, you know, it's a very expensive fabric. Yeah, all silk, all colors. Velvet too. Now, velvet is again a very expensive uh, fabric. Yeah, velvet too. A hundred dresses, Vanda would repeat solidly. So she was not feeling anything. She was just saying it again and again all lined up in my closet. They would tell, let her go. And then before she would gone very far, they couldn't help bursting into shrinks and peals of laughter. And as soon as Vanda used to move further, they used to make fun of her, like anything. A hundred dresses. Obviously, the only dress Vanda had was the blue one she wore every day. So why did she say she had a hundred? What a story. How many shoes did you say you had? 60 pairs. Now again, Vanda said that she had 60 pairs of shoes all lined up in my closet. So all were kept in the wardrobe. Cries of exaggerated polit politeness greeted this. All alike. So it was an overshow. Exaggerated means something which is very over which is far away, far more than the reality. So the girls actually showed more politeness, which was exaggerated, just to make Vanda feel more embarrassed. So we'll continue with the second part in the second class.
Thank you.